music is, is a quintessential multi-sensory activity. If you're a pianist and you're watching me play the piano, the motor and sensory areas of your cerebral cortex are going to be active, even though you are not actually physically playing the piano. When we listen to music, many, many parts of our nervous system are active. One of the areas that we look at very carefully is the auditory brainstem, an evolutionarily ancient part of the brain. And what has happened developmentally, of course, is that our cortex has become increasingly larger. What has also happened evolutionarily is that these descending cortical fugal fibers and networks have become greater and greater, and they shape our sensory system throughout our lives. We can measure responses that are coming from the auditory brainstem because, of course, we can pick up these electrical events. Electricity is the currency of the nervous system, and I can play for you sound waves and how the nervous system plays those same sounds. Then on our geeky level, we can look at the neural transcription process and very, very objectively get a handle of what is happening in the nervous system. And there is tremendous fidelity so that the sound wave and the brain wave, the physical characteristics of the sound wave are reflected in the brain wave. And it's a real challenge to try to figure out little, little bits and pieces of the puzzle, the great big puzzle of how is it that the nervous system uh, deals with complex signals like speech and music.